Yeah, friends, today I'll be talking about snoring and sleep apnea. Well, if you see, snoring is a very common phenomena happening in almost all bedrooms, especially in persons who are more than 40 years of age. And habitual snorers are at risk of certain health diseases or categories, including respiratory, neurological and heart disease. Yes, it is true because snoring is passed off as a simple or lifestyle problem and it's just a considered as a nuisance regarding the sound it produces. But what it comes sometimes snoring is a part of a bigger problem wherein you stop to take breath in the night which is known as sleep apnea. Those who are obese, having blood pressure, sugar, cardiac problem, kidney disease are more likely to have this problem which is known as sleep apnea. What is sleep apnea? Basically when you are sleeping in the night the tones of your respiratory musculature including the throat area becomes lax and it, there is a tendency of collapse in the upper airways and momentarily from few seconds to up to 10 seconds your breathing can stop and there is a lack of oxygen supply to the heart and brain where the risk comes. So those who have sleep apnea will have high risk of having a cardiac disease to the tune of 20 times more likely and strokes like paralysis 17 to 20 times more again. And also it is one of the commonest cause of road traffic accident wherein you might sleep while you are driving or even the reflexes can go weak. So a person who has snoring and has some markers or red flag signs. What are these red flag signs? Basically person who has been snoring so as to, as to produce discomfort to the sleep partner, waking up in the night with choking episodes, waking in the morning with a feeling of not having a fresh sleep the previous night and sleepy throughout the day which includes taking naps after lunch or sitting and dozing sometimes. So these are the signs which says that it's not only plain snoring but it could be a sleep apnea which is a more dangerous scenario. Mm -hmm.